Fun fact, Coxinellidae is a family of beetles known as ladybirds or ladybugs. Ladybugs are small insects ranging from 1mm to 10mm in size and are commonly yellow, orange, or scarlet in color. Although incorrect, a common myth is that the number of spots on a ladybug's back indicates its age. Hi everyone, I have another knife review for you today. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Spyderco Ladybug. This has been a, an amazing addition to my EDC and I've really enjoyed carrying it. I've been extremely surprised with how much I enjoy using this small little knife and how much it's actually come in handy. The purple version that you see on top here, I actually got for my girlfriend for her birthday. And since I liked it so much, I picked up the foliage green version for myself. It's not often that I go and buy multiples of knives and you know, the, I think it just speaks to how, how well this guy has performed and how much I actually like it. Alright, so first off let's go over some specifications and then we can get right into the review. So first off, the overall length of the Spyderco Ladybug comes in at 4 and 3 eighths inches long. Alright, closed length comes in at 2 and a half inches. So it's a very small package for what you're getting. Blade length comes in at 1 and 15 sixteenths inches. Or roughly two inches long. All right, and the blade steel that's being used is a VG10. It's a very common blade steel that Spyderco uses. You've seen it on the Delacruz and Duras and several other knives in their line. All right, and weight comes in at 0.6 ounces. It's incredibly light. You get a lot of that from the size of the knife, along with the FRN handle scales that you have on both versions. All right. So now let's start talking about the knife. I initially got this, like I said, for my girlfriend for her birthday. But what I got it for was her to keep in her purse just as another small knife or something to actually carry on her person. I find that my girlfriend most of the time will keep her knives in her purse, you know, the Benchmade Grip Chilling or the Spyderco Persistence, but she doesn't necessarily like carrying it in her pocket because she thinks it's too big and she doesn't like that people, you know, look at the knife in her pocket. So I thought something small like this that doesn't have a pocket clip or anything like that, that should just be very easy to slip in her pocket and since it's so light, so thin, and so compact that it would just disappear. And I think it's really fit that role well. Not only for her, but for me as well. Uh, since I got mine, I've been using it as a secondary EDC. And it's really excelled. It's like I said again, it's so light that paired it with another larger knife, you don't even know it's there. It just uh, sits in the bottom of your pocket. I keep it in my little change portion of my pocket and it and it rides there perfectly. Alright, so let's take a little uh, overview of the knife here. In this one you have the foliage green FRN handle scales. Very, very nice color. I'm a big fan of foliage if you haven't noticed from some of my other videos. Alright, the FRN handle here has a very, very nice texturing on it. Provides great traction and really allows you to get a secure grip. The handle is pinned here or riveted so you cannot make any adjustments of the pivot or take the knife down. But with a small knife like this, you're not really going to be tackling any large tasks uh, that you know it's going to cause the, the knife to loosen up or anything like that. So it shouldn't be a problem. All right, you also see you have a, a fairly large lanyard hole in the back here. And you can use this to attach it to your keys or just put some paracord or whatever you want in there to make it easier to pull out your pocket. For me, this is not going to be a keychain knife. You know, something like the Spyderco Bug fits that bill better for me. I just think this is a little bit too large to fit on your keys. But again, that's personal preference. All right. As you can see, it does have a lock back locking system, which I think is great for a knife this size. You very rarely see you know, what I would consider a full size locking system on smaller knives. Like the ladies, Lady uh, Spyderco Bug, Spyderco Honeybee, and so on, they all have slip joints. And it's just nice to see something with a full size lock on there. The lockup is very solid, up and down, side to side, no play whatsoever, even after a couple weeks of use. Alright, blade 
was extremely sharp from the factory and has held its edge very well. Again, I'm not using this for hard tasks, opening letters, opening boxes, um, cutting some, some tape and rope, and little stuff like that. But even so, it, it's done very well at holding its edge and is still extremely sharp. Alright, you can see the Spyderco logo on there, as well as the Spyderco opening hole. You would be surprised with how small this knife is, you'd think it would be difficult to use that opening hole, but I actually find it very easy. You just have to learn how to hold it in your hand, and it comes out nice and smooth, no problem whatsoever. Right. And also closing it is very simple as well. All right. You do have some jimping along the thumb ramp here that allows you to get a good purchase on the knife. All right. And also, even though the handle is very small, I can get three fingers on there comfortably. And it really allows your hand to get a good grip. All right. But overall, it's a very, very nice knife. Very comfortable to use. And a great addition to anyone's EDC. Alright, now I'm going to give you guys a quick size comparison just to show you how, how itty bitty and tiny this guy is. So first off, we're going to go with Leatherman Squirt P4. Keep this guy closed. You can see that the ladybug is just a little bit uh, larger. All right. Let's bring it up against the Streamlight MicroStream now. You can see closed. It's quite a bit smaller. If we open it up, just a little bit longer. Right. Also, compare it to a, a typical household key there. Right. And then finally, United States quarter. Alright, so just a quick size comparison for you. Alright, now for a quick cutting demonstration with the foliage green version of this Spyderco Ladybug. So we're going to do a paper cut test here. I fold the paper in half, I'm just going to go down the spine as if we were opening a letter. As you can see it did a great job. Alright, now for the paracord coming, cutting demonstration. Right, you can see that even though the Spyderco Ladybug is a very small knife and doesn't have a very large blade, it still is able to cut the paracord on the first try with very little effort. The blade from the factory and after several weeks of use is still holding up and really performs well. Alright, now for an up close and personal look at the Spyderco Ladybug. You can see the texture in there on the FRN, as well as the Spyderco logo in the center. See the riveting, keeping the knife together. Nice, large, lanyard hole. Some jimping along the top of the knife. Better go VG10. Alright, so that's just an up close and personal look. Spider Care Ladybug. So final thoughts on the Spyderco Ladybug. I've really, really enjoyed carrying this. It's been a great addition to my EDC and it's a secondary uh, EDC knife for me. It's been a, a lot of fun to carry simply because it's so light and so small that I really forget about it. And if I need something that I don't want to scare anybody, take it out of my pocket to, to cut something, this is where the Ladybug really excels. You know, it, it has a full size locking system in my opinion with this lock back. It provides a very solid and stable lockup. But it's a, it's a small knife and a little package, but it really can cut. 
So if, if you want this as a secondary backup or as a woman just to carry in your purse or to carry in a small pocket of your pants, I think it's a great option and definitely something to look into. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.